What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and this is it, man. The truth behind the UTFO and the uh, rock, the real Roxanne, Roxanne Shante back. <laughs> so we'll put it that way. Roxanne Shante, aka Roxanne, is the most dis person in hip hop history. Nobody has been dissed more than Roxanne Shante. And nobody has probably dissed more people than Roxanne Shante. Her career was based on dissing. But we go to the beginning. Back when the Kango Kid and Doc was break dancing for Houdini. They didn't even they weren't the real strong rappers back then in the game. Doc used to spell out all his words, like Mo D and the rest of them, DMX when they were doing Letterman and all that stuff. That style back then, everybody wants to say they created it, and even Nas gives props to those guys because those those were the guys that was really using that style back then. When Nas borrowed it for Zone Out. G O D S O N out S O O T A G a female's estrogen with my testosterone male hormone enough for a giant's body science S C I D N C E don't tempt me E M S against me me I'm just invincible like Mike Jackson but me and Al Sharpton won't be broken hollow that's dead who made this style X Solo or UTFO doctor whoever Modi, I freaked it. Yes, so meet your death. I never went Esco. I got a new line coming like cinemas. Remember the original. So that was the style he was using there, paying homage to those guys who were using that style. And UTFO who made a sad story rap called Roxanne Roxanne. It was on the B side, never was supposed to be the hit song at all. Hanging Out was supposed to be the hit. And nobody cared about that garbage. But the Roxanne, Roxanne, uh, I want to be your man. That was a club song, club banger, big hit. It's getting spins on all the radio stations. Meanwhile, Mr. Magic and Marley Marl, they like promoters. They promote on the radio station, then they go do these little local shows and put their money up for the rap acts and hip hop acts at the clubs. So they want to book UTFO. So Molly's getting in contact with him, like, yo, we're going to get U U UTFO up in there. And they so in demand, they can't, they can't uh, get booked. They had so many different shows going on. Like, they had a show they did out in Oakland. They came back, did another show out here, and, and it just was flowing, UTFO. So they had to cancel because Marley couldn't get the funds. You know, he was jerking them with the money, promising them stuff. That they like, look, man, y'all ain't, ain't got y'all stuff together. So they pulled out of the show. Because Marley was guaranteeing them stuff, and they was like, yeah, he, he, he jerking us around. So Marley was salty because he was already putting the flyers out that UTFO was going to be there. And now they're going to look stupid because UTFO wasn't going to be there. So they canceled the whole show. And then tried to blame UTFO for the show going bad. So, and Mr. Magic looked stupid because he was on the radio promoting UTFO. So they coming up with an idea like, man, we got to get them back. You know, like, we're going to find a way to get them back. And they was trying to go, they were going to find a rapper to rap against UTF, UTFO. You know, just come back dissing them. And Roxanne, they was like, man, this girl named Roxanne, she can rap. You know, this, you know, people from the bridge is telling them, like, yo, you know Roxanne, she can rap. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, like, she tight. I mean, uh, flow a little bit. She's like a 14-year-old girl. So, this 14-year-old girl would become the most dissed 
rapper in the history of hip hop. Because she did a freestyle uh, rap with the Roxanne, and they was like, cool, we're going to work with it. So here it is, Roxanne's Revenge come out, and here comes Roxanne Shantae. And once that hit, <sighs> crazy. First it came out, it had the same beat as UTFO. And it had profanity in it, and it was crazy because in New York, Mr. Magic was spinning it, and he played right after Roxanne Roxanne. UTFO song. So now it's selling like crazy. Like they put some a barcode behind it. It started moving. They were like, whoa, whoa, this was just supposed to be some fun stuff. But now there's a barcode behind it. So UTFO is pissed because this is on the radio station and it's making noise. And this is like a throwback to the song Rumors. And then they, somebody made a song like a joke song about it called Roaches. Look at all these rumors around me every day. And then somebody did the song and just turned rumors to roaches. Look at all these roaches around me every day. So it was just uh, a lot of that going on in the hip hop era back then. It was in the comic, but UTFO decided that they were going to sue. Molly Marl and DJ, you know, Magic and everybody who produced the song. So, to prevent that, they took that down, changed the beat, took out the profanity, and put it back out <laughs> so they should still sell with the Roxanne Roxanne. So, UTFO is pissed. And what's just taking place? They're like, man, we it's still in our thunder. So they was like, all right, this dude just stole our thunder, so we gotta come back with something. So they had trying to find any girl that they could find that could split the bill or come in there and spit some rhyme. They was like, we need to get a girl in here right now. <laughs> so they had this girl named uh, Elise. And she came in and did the the uh, the Roxanne diss song called the real Roxanne, but it wasn't working out with her. So they went and got the other girl, the Martinez girl, who ended up taking the name the real Roxanne. So they replaced the girl that was gonna be the real Roxanne and got another girl. Name uh, Delia Martinez, who went by the name The Real Roxanne. And she was just trying to get into the business. She was just mostly in there as a background singer, but she wanted to be a rapper, you know, and get in the game. So once they saw her, they saw her look. This Puerto Rican girl coming around, she's got the better look, we gonna go with her. And then The Real Roxanne, that became a hit. And next thing you know is, you know, you got the Roxanne Wars going on. And everybody saw the success of it. People want to jump in. You got Sparky D, she jumping in, she's talking about Roxanne. Then it was Roxanne, you sound like a man. Roxanne, I mean, it was Roxanne's sisters, Roxanne's brothers. I'm not kidding. It was the worst I had ever seen anybody get this. I remember JJ Fan had another hole going at Roxanne Shante. Then I swear it was Roxanne dead, Roxanne died, Roxanne baby, no more Roxanne. I guarantee you the Roxanne Wars was going on. People were so exhausted. On the radio, you got all these songs on the radio talking about Roxanne. So it was it was a headache back then that the both sides to said decided look this is getting crazy and 
then it's getting out of hand. But you know, when she had gone, girl, and all that stuff, and they were trying to put an end to all this Roxanne stuff so they can get to their careers. And like the real Roxanne and dropped the real from her name and turned her name to just Roxanne and still trying to ride that pain. So on Big Mama track, she got referenced again. The one that, uh, uh, what's his name, did Granddaddy IU. He wrote that Big Mama track for Shantae. And then that's what the other real Roxanne had. The Roxanne shit is over. But UTFO and Molly Wild, they became friends in the midst of all this. So when they became friends, it was like, okay, well, there's no more, no reason to really continue this. Let's just try to make money off of it and keep going back and forth. But everybody jumping in with all these rocks and stuff, it blew that up. It, people were exhausted with it. They wanted to hear no more rocks and stuff because all these other people jumped in with all this rocks and stuff. So it was just. A headache. It really didn't. Uh, I say it was the first rap beef to go public like that and make as much noise, especially for the female part of it. But it was the first rap beef that, like, the world knew about. Like my mother knew about the rock saying right there. Like, yeah, I remember that. And you know that's. That's weird, cause my mom, my, my mom know about this beef. She can sit up here and tell you the story of how it went down. But by the time those two realized they could have been making money together off this, it was too late. They let everybody come in and mess up the money. So that's what really happened. Your boy Carcino here. I'm out. Enjoy the videos. And follow the playlist too. It's called the truth behind hip hop beats. How y'all not following it? Y'all be asking me for stuff that's been done for months. <laughs> I'm out.